couldn't get him. 
But old Stock was messing around with Mrs. Billy Lyons, you know, like he promised Billy he would. And the sheriff gave her a few small coins, you know, to put something in Stagger Lee's liquor. And she did that, and Stack got knocked out. So the sheriff come in one night, you know, and they held one of them quick trial, southern style, you know, nigga, you guilty, and they took him on out. Now the hangman dropped a rope all around Stagger Lee's neck. Lord, they hung him in the tree, but Stack's neck refused to crack. Man. Now the hangman turned to the sheriff, said, You see how it be. Lord, we can't hang this nigga. I guess we gotta let him go free. And that's what they did. Turned stock loose because they couldn't get him. So, you know, Stack lived on and on, you know, God knows how many years, you know. He lived so long, you know, that it started tracking tension up in heaven. And, you know, the great Lord was sitting back in his red, rosy rocking chair one day, and, you know, and St. Peter came to him and he said, Lord, you got to do something. The Lord said, what's wrong, St. Peter? St. Peter said, but Lord, there's a man down there in Hanger Nigger, Georgia, called Stagger Lee. You know, he should have been dead near about, you know, 200 years ago. So I mean, he said he's raising hell down there and can on, you know. I think you time you to call him, you know. So the Lord called for the great book, the judgment book, you know. And he ran through it, you know, and got on to the S's. You know, he looked up Stagger Lee. And you know, trying to help him, you know, everything bad, you know, they write it down in a book. And Lord Stack had now, you know, 4,000 pages in there. And the Lord said, call me death. So Death was sitting down there in the stable, sleep, you know, and Death heard the Lord's voice ringing down through the golden streets, you know, and he jumps up and he gets on his pale white horse, you know, and old pale Death comes riding down through the streets of heaven. Everybody closed the door. Even heaven, they scared of Death, you know. So Death rode up and he said, Lord, you call. And the Lord said, I want you to go down there to hang a nigga, George, and bring me that man called Stagger Lee. Death rode on off, you know, down through heaven, down to earth. Well, you know, Stagger Lee was sitting down there on the front porch drinking white lightning, you know, and picking on the guitar and can on with the women and carousing, you know. He looks up, he see this white-looking man, you know, come riding up on this white horse. He cracked up, he said, man, what's wrong with you, man? It's daytime. We ain't, we ain't never had no clan in the daytime riding around. What's wrong with you? The man walked up, he said, Stagger Lee, I'm death. Come with me. Stagger Lee said, ain't this a blip, man? Who you think you talking to? And Death got sort of, you know, frustrated at that. You know, he said, Stagger Lee, I'm Death. Come on, I ain't got all day here, man. What's wrong with you? And Stagger Lee said, man, if you don't get out of there, I'm going to shoot you. And Stagger Lee pulled out his gun, you know, but Death never run nothing like this before, you know. And Death said, well, I, I, I bet you over to the boss. And so Death jumped back on his pale white horse and went on back up to heaven, you know. And so St. Peter was looking down, you know, over the clouds, and he said, oh, I see Death coming back riding like mad. Death got close, and St. Peter said, Ooh, look like something scared him to death. I didn't mean nothing wrong there, you know, but he looks pretty scared, Lord. So Death came in, he said, Lord, this is a job for you. So the Lord reached behind his big rosy rocking chair, you know, and he pulled down one of them great thunderbolts. And he said, how you spell Stagger Lee, St. Peter? And St. Peter said, Lord, you know everything, don't you? He said, you better show them how to spell Stagger Lee here. So Stagger Lee, you know, they spelled it out for the Lord. You know, the Lord wrote on this thunderbolt. S-T-A-G-O-L-E-E, -E, Stagger Lee. So the Lord blew away a few clouds, you know, and he looked down on the earth there, and he looked down there, and he said, ooh, man, they sure can on over there in India. Folks starving, what's wrong over there? And St. Peter said, Lord, America, that ain't America. America's over that way, Lord. So the Lord looked on around. He said, ooh, you look at all that sin down there. He said, Lord, you stop looking at California and go on and get Stagger Lee for crying out loud. Lord said, ooh, that desert, that, that's, that's Nevada, and that sure looks hot down there. Folks gambling and carrying on. Mm, mm, mm. Some, somebody ought to do something about all that down there. And St. Peter said, Lord, you get Stagger Lee, and Stagger Lee's messing with every minute you can. And Lord, go get Stagger Lee. So the Lord put his great eye down there on the earth, and he ran across, you know, Missouri, Illinois. And St. Peter said, go south from Illinois, Lord. He went south through Tennessee, down to Georgia, Valdosta, Georgia, Atlanta. 
Savannah and there it was. Hang a nigga. He great eye went wound up down the street and he saw Staggerly and he threw his great thunderbolt. Boom! And that was the end of Staggerly. Can't mess with the Lord too much, you know that. Ten thousand dollar funeral. Lord of twenty thousand dollar hers. And a satisfaction undertaker put Staggerly six feet in the earth. So, you know, Stack was dead and buried, you know, but his soul was kind of restless. You can't keep a good man down, you know that. Staggerly decided I can't wait till judgment day. Because he was kind of scared that Gabriel would blow the horn instead of Louis Armstrong on Judgment Day. And he just couldn't stand to hear Gabriel blow. He figured Gabriel couldn't swing too much. So Stagger Lee decided he'd go on up and check out heaven now. So Stagger Lee just got on out the grave and went on his way. You know how it is. So he was walking on. Took him about 10, you know, heaven's long way. But Stagger Lee had plenty of time. You know, took him about 10,000 years. He got close to heaven. You know, he started hearing this harp music. And he said, Lord. What's going on here? Don't tell me heaven is segregated. You know, the reason he figured that because he, he didn't have nobody playing the blues on the harp, you know. He said, ain't this a crying folk singing hymn? Just like they said in church, man, at heaven. So anyway, Stiley decided he'd go around to the back door of heaven because he knew there wasn't no colored folks up front playing no hymns on no harp. So he went around back of heaven, you know, and that back of heaven was stone deserted, man. Wasn't nobody there. A few chickens, you know, ain't nothing going on. He went back around front and he rung up St. Peter. He said, hey, where, where, where are all the colored folks, man? And St. Peter said, well, I tell you how it goes. You know, we had to get rid of them. You know, they was up here playing the blues on the harps, you know, and flattened thirds and the hymns, you know, and flattened fifths and all that. You know, we couldn't have them up here. All we got now is white folks and some middle class Negroes, you know, some of the bourgeoisie. You know, we had to send all the, you know, bad colored folks down to hell. Stagger Lee didn't wait another word. He took off going down to hell. He got there and he rung up on the gates, you know, and somebody opened the gate and they said, Stagger Lee, what's happening, baby? We've been waiting for you, man. Where you been, Jack? Stagger Lee said, I'm here, baby. The good times roll. He said, who's in charge around here? He said, all the devil. Stagger Lee said to me, he said, man, what's that bad odor I smell? He said, oh, man, we just got a couple of white southerners, you know, we kind of cooking them up there for a barbecue we have. And Stagger Lee said, yeah, this must be the place. Now Stagger Lee told the devil, Say, come on, let's have some fun. Lord, you hit me with your pitchfork. I'll shoot you with my 41. Stagley took the pitchfork. Lord, he laid it on the shelf. He said, stand back, devil. I'm on rule hell by my goddamn self. That's just what he did too. 